everybody. If you're going to take this opportunity to do an update video on the Samsung batteries that I harvested out of a um, HP battery pack last night. I wasn't initially going to do a video of the charging process, but um, it looks like we do have some bad cells. Um, of course, you know, we, these four, well, I got one missing, one's in the other room, but you know, we had the ones that were highly over discharged. And one of the ones that looks to be bad is one that's kind of surprising to me because it was holding about 3.8, no, sorry, 3.7 volts uh, when I pulled it. And there's the other one that was holding the um, 3.7 volts. Look at some, look at this here. I put these two on exactly the same time. This one is already at three, um, at 4.13 volts, while this one here is still way down at 3.84. And the time on this, six minutes. And the charger's already um, turning down the current. Down, it's, it's already throttling down the current. Um, this one here's just still going full speed ahead. And look at the milliamp hours that we already put into res each respective one. I'm, I'll be surprised if we get 200 milliamp hours in this one here. Um, this one here seems to be doing a-okay. The two on the left are the ones that were sitting at 2.2 volts. I started them in a lower current. And if you've seen the video where I extracted those Panasonic cells over there, you'll know that this charger, the um, way it works is if it detects over-discharged cells, it will, it will do what it can to revive them. What it does is um, you set the current down as low as you can, you can on the control, which will be 200 milliamp. But it, it will actually, when it starts charging, immediately goes down to about, it almost got down to zero milliamps and work its way up until the battery gets up to about 2.3 volts and then it will start to throttle the current back up. Um, so yeah, you know, of course I wasn't expecting the best out of these batteries. <laughs> these, I do think, are from 2004, maybe even 2003. I mean... This will give you an idea. I'm just feeling the temperature of the battery here. They're all cool to the touch. Um, this will give you an idea. That's the laptop they come out of. Yeah. That's pretty freaking old. When it's two inches thick, you know it's old. Um, yeah. So, these batteries, yeah, as you know, as I sort of kind of figured, um, wasn't going to expect the best out of them. But it's one of those, you know, you never know till you try kind of things. See, we're, once, once these here get up to about 3.5 volts, I'm going to switch them over to an amp of charge. You see how they do? This one here obviously is bad. It's, it's pretty obvious already that it's bad. This one here I think is okay. Um, we're still sitting at 3.84 volts. It's been, you know, it it jumped up to a th you know to about 3.8 once I started charging them. And it, it, it jumped up to about 3.8 and it stayed there and as it's, as it's taking a charge. Whereas this one almost immediately shot up to 3. Point, no, no, 4 volts, 4.1 volts. And we're already up to 4.14. Yeah, so this cell, safe to say, is bad. I'm going to go ahead and pull it off. Yeah, that one there is definitely bad. So it looks like we have five bad ones so far. You know, four that were just completely discharged down to nothing. And one so far that is just not worth keeping due to very, very, very low um, capacity. So I'll see how these remaining three do. Um, yeah. I'm getting ready to um, crack up another pack and extract some cells out of that. Because I am going to replace those Panasonics with something better. I'll be honest, I am going to replace them. You know, even if I get just one good battery out of this, that's one good extra battery that I didn't have before. So, I mean... I still can't complain there when they're free. And of course, I, I, it was an opportunity for me to shoot a video for you guys to watch um, of me 
turn the uh, pack apart. So again, uh, 3.41, 3.45, I think that's high enough. I'm going to switch them over to a thousand milliamp charge. You notice I drew a little line on the cells. That's just for reference that way I know which ones um, were the ones that were setting out a low voltage. That way, you know, when I use them, I can get an idea. That way, I won't be surprised if the capacity is low, you know. I can tell which one is which. Which it looks like we've only got one, you know, in, in, out of the, um, out of the ones that were sitting at a decent voltage. It looks like only one of those cells is actually good. Um, I still haven't confirmed it yet. I mean, I'll let it charge up and I'll run a capacity um, test on it and just, you know, we'll see how it does. So we've put 175 milliamp hours into it already. Now I didn't even, I forgot to even look at how much I put in these. I know it wasn't a whole lot. Um, so now it's just a matter of charging them up at, you know, regular current and see this monitor to make sure they don't get hot. That's the other key thing is make sure they don't get hot under charge. I gotta tell you, I'll never forget when these two cells here got hot. Um, yeah, that wasn't that wasn't all that great. <laughs> so that's an update on the Samsung cells so far. Okay, one more update. Just a few minutes later, um, this one cell is still sitting at 3.85. You know, this you know, being a good battery, you know, taking its charge, <laughs> no problems. The two on the left. Um, let me see here. They're both still taking, you know, the charger's still supplying an amp. Look here. This one's at 3.81. That one's at 3.71. So it looks like this one here may not be all that great either. Just kind of wait and see. So yeah, you know, I'm going to repeat myself again, you know. When I was, when I extracted this Samsung, you know, the, I'm sorry, this, H, this HP pack, I wouldn't. I wouldn't really. Wouldn't be surprised if all the cells were a total loss. Um, I just, you know, <laughs> to be honest, I actually peeled a layout back on that pack one time previously to look and see what was in there. Gotta tell you, <laughs> when you start extracting these um, batteries, it's almost like you're opening Christmas gifts, at, you know, under the Christmas tree. It's just like you know, can't wait to see what's inside. Um, yeah. So we'll just you know, let these keep going and see what happens. Okay guys, just to put into perspective how bad this one Samsung cell is, you know, one of the two ones that was sitting at uh, what 3.7 volts. I popped it on I popped it into the modified ZI6 and I got a whopping minute 15 of HC60 out of it. Yeah, guys. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Here's another update on the Samsung batteries. This one here is finished up. These two are still charging. You can see how this one is at 1540. This one here is at like 1600, 1600 something. 1651. This one here, though, is at um, 1885 already. So, you know, these are ready for 2200. So if this actually gets up too close to, you know, if it gets up close to 2,000, I'd be, you know, be amazed, you know, for batteries this old. So it looks like we got one really decent cell and two that are A-OK. -okay. Um, so three total usable cells out of that pack of eight. Four of them were badly over-discharged down to nothing, and that one... That actually read, you know, came out reading 3.7 volts, just had little capacity in it. I mean, as, um, as you saw, like a minute, 15 seconds or so of footage and, and 60 frames per second off of my modified ZI6, that's just not very, not very good. But, um, yeah. So, it looks like we have three cells now, um, that I could use. 
But before we're going to wrap up this video, I want to show you guys something here. And I'm going to have this posted in a separate video. I just um, dissected a generic replacement laptop battery. And I want you to look at these cells here. When I was when I first cracked open, I saw that same car. I was like, "Huh? Did they put Samsungs in here?" Oh no, they didn't. Look here. Yeah, <laughs> that's a brand name on these. Yeah, they wish they were Samsungs. Yeah, look at them. Look how similar they look. Yeah, look at that. They're almost identical, and and um, not only in the color, but also the way they're wrapped. Look at look at this. They're they're wrapped almost exactly the same. <laughs> Yeah, they wish they were Samsungs, and guess what these are rated for? 1,900 milliamp hours. Yeah, that's not quite 2,200. But they do weigh at they do weigh in at about 41 to 42 grams, and the Samsung I think were about 43, so you know, about the same weight. Yeah, <laughs> I guess we're going to call this the end for the um, Samsung battery video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Any questions or comments? Feel free to ask and thanks for watching. Hey everybody. I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video from Q Computer Channel. Remember to like the video, subscribe to Q Computer Channel for more updates, and remember to tick the bell so that you actually get notified of these updates. Did you know that I am also on a second channel? That's Bike Geek MTDX. Over there you'll find videos of bicycling, weather, elevators, and all sorts of other neat and interesting stuff. Feel free to subscribe to that channel as well. And again, I thank you for your support, and thanks for watching this video.